name is John Davis. This is my buddy T Mac. This is Sunday, mouse expert extraordinary. And I'm just I'm just a mouse hunter. <laughs> so anyway, tonight we've been over here at the car wash in T Vegas, and we've been chasing this mouse for about 30 minutes, and we have caught that dead gum thing. And it started out over here next to T Mac's car, and we have chased him down here in this little this here box, and we've got him trapped. We fed you see we fed him a piece of candy because you know you know mice they love candy you know something sweet. So we've caught him in a box here, and we're just watching him right now, seeing you know, studying his habits, trying to get in, the, you know, get in his head, you know, trying to figure out what he's what he's going to do. And right now, I think he's scared to death. I actually kind of kind of feel sorry for him. I don't. Well, I don't either. I don't know who I'm kidding. Just kill him. <laughs> just joking. <laughs> yeah, but see, I caught, I got him here with this here beating stick, and what I done, I hit him over the head with it real quick. And I grabbed him and threw him in that damn box, and then T-Mac here pounced on him like a tiger, or like a cougar, and wrestled him, wrestled him until he got down in that box and calmed, down, calmed his ass down. So Nearly tore him a face. Yeah, though. he nearly tore his face off. He got scratches, see? Right, right there. You can't see, they're, they're gone. They're, yeah, they're, 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 they're light, light scratches. He wrestled <laughs> him into the box, and I cracked him over the head with this thing right here. This, this is part of a golf club. I don't know what happened to the head of it, but part of it. And we got this here light. This here light was key to our investigation because we couldn't see the dadgum thing what for this. And, uh, sir, what is the light's name? This is a mag light. You can buy it at any retail store close to you, like Walmart or Publix or wherever you live. You can buy them all day long for like 17 bucks. So, anywho, like we say, we sit here and we, we got this mouse hostage. <coughs> He's trying to attack the pole. I'm trying to get He's very candy. vicious, I understand. He's very vicious. Eat the candy. He's like a spider monkey. He won't eat the candy. Maybe he's not hungry. Maybe he's just scared to death right now. Ah, uh, you saw the way he tore into me. He's not scared. He's vicious. Look at his eyes. Look, look at his eyes. His eyes they are glow with the bug fire. eyes. Good Lord, I've never seen a mouse like that. Come on. Now what caused you all to, to, to want to do this capture? Well, see, we were over here just, you know, talking, getting ready, you know, planning out our next, our next, ma our next uh, mouse hunting expedition. And we saw this little one over here next to the car, and we just figured we had to go pick it up. Because, you know, it was an easy score. Well, I, I wouldn't say easy. We've been chasing around for about 30 minutes to an hour, and we finally caught him. And like I said, my good buddy T-Mac, I whacked him over the head and threw him in the box, and T-Mac wrestled him. He's a, that's why they call him Mouse Dundee. Now, uh, Mouse Dundee, what is your thought of this? I'm not a talking person. I wrestle mouses, that's it. Mouses, not mice. I, I mean a few mouses. words. You have to appreciate that. I wrestle mouses, not mice. Mouses. There's a difference. He looks like he's watching a news helicopter and, you know, police chasing him. Look at, oh, did you see him do that flip? <laughs> Good Lord, he'd be in the circus. He's, he's vicious, son. I tell you what, that's the wildest mouse I've ever seen out in the wild. He ain't no tame lab rat. He about crushed that dang pole, bit your, bit your arm off, son. I bet we let him out of this body, he'll gnaw one of our legs off. We don't take off running real quick. Talk about a vicious little thing. I'm going to try to get a close in. Uh, will the camera be okay down there? Or where should I put the protect? We have trained professionals in case you encounter any danger. Okay, any the, danger. those are the medics in the back, right? Yeah. The, yes. guy, the guys with the uh, yes. blow torches? Okay. Yes. We're going down into the uh, <laughs> chamber. It's called the uh, mouse holding chamber. We're going down deeper and deeper. Just try to get a close up of this wild animal. And as you can see, he's very, very dangerous. Very dangerous. Very dangerous creature right this there. This is just son. like cops. They carry, they, it's just like cops. Just I'm like cops. What, son. I tell you, we caught the perp and he's in this little box and he ain't getting away. No. We don't need no dadgum Q-tips and Gatorade and all that junk and all the all the dadgum handcuffs and all the fancy equipment the police officers use. We got a damn box and a flashlight, son. We ain't playing. And we got a half a golf club. We ain't playing around. We got a professional, professional mouse hunting equipment. <laughs> We can be exterminators, but see, we're we're with the EPA. We can't really kill mice, you know. We just catch them. We catch them alive, you know. Put them back. Put a little tag. See, we'll put a little tag with a little blinking light on his little leg right there. And we're gonna track him. That way, you know, if he ever gets killed out in the wild or something, we'll know. We'll catch the poachers who've done it. What are you doing? Oh, he's breaking it up so that little mouse right there can eat it. See that? See that piece of candy, folks? That's just food for tonight. He better eat it too. He ain't getting no one phone call. <laughs> he ain't a human. 
You t tell him he ain't getting no that gum phone call. He better get to eating. Uh, who called in the mouse? I understand those are disturbance. Well, see, we were, that's why we were up here planning out our next move, because we didn't know really where he was at. See, this old lady called from up the street. She said, start to climb the wall. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, son, he's vicious. You gotta watch him. You gotta watch him, son. He'll bite your damn leg off. I'm telling you. I feared for my life just then. And that's one thing about it. We saw, and this old lady was up at her house, and she saw it on the back of a juice carton. Holy. <laughs> Whoa. That little bugger back at him. He's I tell you, he's, he's vicious, son. Yeah, he said, put that pole back down here. I'm going to chew off your leg. Do it. Let him climb it. I'm going to get like a cool view. Yeah, keep the light right there. Bring it closer to him. You little idiot. <laughs> Just like the circus. I tell you what, son, that mouse is getting smart, son. And they got a mind their own, too. You got to be real careful. They'll bite your arm off. I'm not kidding. This is just like cops. This is just like cops, and they're smart. You know, you just can't put, you, we ain't got no little tiny, you know, mice cuffs or nothing, but you see him jump like that? Now, I will have to admit this capture would not have succeeded if it wasn't for the police helicopters, the assistance. That is true. That so is true. We did have a county sheriff's department. Uh, we, we thank you for greatly, your assistance. Greatly. With your uh, he police helicopter from the Monroe County Sheriff's that, Department. That's the thing. They, they provide a good police support and stuff, but you know, they just, smack, they, smack. they lack the expertise on how to catch a mouse. Now, I'm telling you, son. I mean, you can put out mouse traps all day long, but you're just going to kill them. And you put out decon and red X and all that junk, it's going to stick on it like a sticky pad. But I tell you, the main thing, how you catch a mouse, you get your box. You get your box and you get half a golf club, you find out of a creek after a flood, and you get a mag light flashlight, and son, you ready to go mouse hunting. But you, That's all you, you need. Have, you have to get the permit. Well, of course, you have to have a permit, and uh, those permits cost about $95, you know, for a year. $9, I mean, $90.95 to be exact. Well, okay, well, for, well, for a year in Kentucky and in Tennessee is 100 And the reason it's 100 in Tennessee is because their sales tax is always higher, you know. I'll well, see if we can get them in a little cigarette box carrier. I'm telling you what right now, son, you talk about bitch, I'm going to try to catch his tail and see what happens. No. Do it. Do it. Ah. I missed him. I missed him. Yeah, you're right. He's already scared to death. We'll just let him go. And we're not going to kill him, folks. We're going to let him go back out in the oh, wild. He's eating the candy, isn't he? Oh, he's starting to. He's starting Ooh. to eat it. We're going to let him go back out in the wild. We ain't no, going to hurt not. him. No, we're going to kill him. No, we're not. <laughs> we're going to let him out back out in the wild. He's, he, you know, he's all going to go about killing some mice. But, yeah, you got in trouble back for that a couple years ago, didn't you, there? In the Amazon. You out in the Amazon killing mice. How many, how many years was he in the Amazon jail? 23 years. 23 years. No parole, no good behavior. Surrounded by Amazonians. Surrounded by mice. I bet that was rough. They took me captive and put me in a mice jail. I was a POW. Did you feel bad numbers. having to face the families of the uh, the victims? No. I'm a heartless, heartless man of few words. See, that's why you shouldn't have been poaching all them daggum mice and they wouldn't have took you captured like hey, what that. Hey, what did I tell you about bringing that up? Huh? Well, you don't want to bring it up. You want to give a daggum interview on YouTube here. I'm telling you what, we're about to let him go. We ain't gonna hurt him. We're gonna let him go out in the wild and have fun, you know, frolic and get older and have babies and everything else and infest some old lady's house. Well, we're gonna go ahead and let him go. Yeah, we're gonna let him go now. T Mag, watch the release. Now here's here's the release of here's the release of the mouse. Look at there. There he goes. There he goes. He's on the move. And he's gone. And he's gone. And folks, that was a day in the life of Mouse Hunter. We are professionals. Do not try this at home, kids. And we will see you on next week's episode of Mouse Hunter and Mouse Dundee. And that'll be all. Thank you and good night.